So here, real quick. So this came up today. Um, Tom Perez is nominating Barney, I Hate Bernie Franks, and Maria, I Hate Bernie Moore Cardona as co-chairs to the 2020 Convention Rules Committee. Um, and they put out they put out an entire list of uh, Perez kind of slid this by. And you will notice stuff like this always go by on the weekends. This is the kind of shit they release at like Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning. You know, when all the news producers are home and the scripts have already been written for the Sunday news shows. So they tried to put this out all quietly. And, and there's some winners on this uh, on this Democratic Rules Committee, the DNC Rules Committee. Um, Alex Padilla is on here. Uh, Christopher Liu is on here. Barney Frank. Uh, there's there's like. Podesta. Set, yeah, Podesta. John like, Podesta. Set, seven of like the 18 people on this list were super delegates for Hillary in 2016. <laughs> so so basically, uh, while nobody was looking this weekend, uh, Tom Perez decided to, you know, release the the uh, the hierarchy of the rules committee coming into the DNC, which, again, if you're if you're just checking in with us here, you're not familiar. Uh, we've been explaining for a while now that uh, the the way the DNC set up the uh, primary this year. Uh, was specifically to push to a uh, a contested convention or or at least a, a primary season where nobody other than their candidate would have a a, a good mathematical percentage chance of winning five hundred percent fifty percent of the delegates out of the gate. Um, so uh, so Rebecca, I know you had a few yeah. things you had. You had some. I don't know if you want to drop memes. Or you want to go through some of the articles you had on your sheet first, but uh, well, I'm easy peasy. Yeah, there was an article written about this um, in Medium where it says the DNC is getting ready for a contested convention, and so should Bernie's base. So I can drop that oh, in I already have if it we want to take a look. Look at the screen. Oh, yeah. It, oh. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, you, you found a lot of the same stuff I found. Um, and just real quickly for people in chat, if you're thinking, you know, Rebecca and I probably spent all morning planning stuff out. <laughs> I assure you we did not. I literally messaged Rebecca and I was like, I want to go on at like 11. She's like, yeah, okay, sure. So this is what we dug up. But yeah, Rebecca dropped it into the chat if y'all want to check it out. We um, also have like somebody behind the scenes who's been helping us named Maya, who may or may not come on one day. And Maya is amazing. Um, she's a communist and she likes doing research. So she sends us links before every stream and sometimes James and I we no we look at them but we don't always get through everything yeah uh, yeah there there's a running joke in just chatting especially with political streamers is that all political streamers like have like a, a list of crap they're going to go through in the day and then three quarters of the way through their day all political streamers go wow I haven't even looked at half this list yet so it's not yeah. just us it, it seems to be a, an industry standard <laughs> okay <laughs> so uh so is there anything uh on this that uh specifically jumped out at you about how the dnc is well, purposely getting I ready mean, for a contested convention were, let me see if the podesta because the emails were just oh, so yeah. if you do a search for the john email. podesta um yeah, that's another one there um hold on so real quick uh so chairman dnc uh, uh Chairman Tom Perez nominated questionable choices to the convention leadership, dangerous choices that show a clear indication they're already planning on taking the Democratic nomination if Bernie wins it at the convention. Uh, Barney Fra Frank, who once said, Bernie Sanders has been in Congress for 25 years with little to show for it in terms of his accomplishment, and that's because of the role he stakes out. So we know Barney Frank is definitely not a fan. Um Barney Frank holds the same view of Bernie as Hillary Clinton, Neera Tanded, and all the other DNC elites who rigged the primary process against him last time. Uh, not only that, but evidently his supporters are unrealistic because they expect that politicians should be beholden to voters as opposed to big money interests. Uh, let's see. Uh, here you go. John Podesta. There you go. Um, is also on the Rules Committee. Uh, he once said in the famously leaked DNC emails that they needed to make sure Bernie is ground to a pulp and asked, where would you stick the knife in? If this process was even remotely designed to be fair, this man would not be allowed anywhere near this convention. 
Uh, Alex Padilla, who gained notoriety for refusing to count 2 million votes in the 2016 primary, a move that undeniably favored Clinton and handed a massive disadvantage to Sanders. Um, it's basically an entire who's who of people who have towed the company line for, for Tom Perez, for Debbie Wasserman Schultz, for Hillary Clinton, for Barack Obama. It's, it's, yeah. it, it, it's the, it's the elitist version of good old boys in, in the democratic party, essentially. Yay. Democrats. Thanks guys. <laughs> Yeah, and I think towards the end of, if this is the same, yes. So the last paragraph, the first sentence, it is incredibly telling that the, the Democratic Party would rather another four more years of Donald Trump and the death of their party than have Bernie Sanders as the nominee. And that's true. And it's also true, and I just wonder how many times we're going to say this, because I remember saying this in 2016, Right. And it seems like they're doing the same. They're pulling the same moves and people are saying the same things. So and the Democratic Party hasn't really died yet. Maybe it's like, I don't know, um, critical life support or something. Um, hold on. So real but, quick, uh, Carpe. Yeah. So, no, it was I, the aggregate does not have Bernie up by three points. Uh, but there was a new there was an Emerson poll. That came out specifically in Emerson poll that put Sanders three points up on Biden. It was a specific poll. Uh, I did preface it with saying there were like four different polls came out this weekend. Um, um, but yeah, nationally, well, again, it depends on the poll. You have to look at the aggregate. So this is the, this Emerson just came out. Um, and then hold on the Emerson poll, the Emerson poll has them up by nine. The aggregate has them up by three and USA today which came out in the exact same time span, has Biden by six. Yeah, so so it depends, like I said, it depends on the poll, though. Like, the USA Today poll has Biden up by six. Um, has uh, Biden 25, Sanders 19, Buttigieg 18, uh, Warren 13, Klobuchar 6. So, again, it 